Alright guys, so today we're going to be making birria tacos, or birria tacos, birria de des. Um, birria with consomme, you may have heard this a few different ways, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's jump right into it. So right now, you see me starting off with um, four oxtails. That's all I have of the oxtails. And I'm salting them up pretty good, making sure that I have plenty of salt on them because right now, I'm going in this pot right here. This is like kind of like a little Dutch oven pot type deal. And um, I'm gonna sear off all sides of those four oxtails, get them nice and brown. You know what I'm saying? Because you want that color on them before you start to stew them because it's flavor. Once they start to brown up kind of like this, you know what I'm saying? You in there. You just want to make sure all sides are like that. So then once you're good, I just remove them from the pot. And yeah, there we go. So this is what I'm going to be using with the oxtails. I got probably about a pound and a half, two pounds of um, chuck roast. Um, yeah, that's what it is, chuck roast. And so I'm going to do pretty much the same thing to it that I did to the oxtail. I'm seasoning it with salt on both sides generously because it needs it trust me it's not too much salt so I can flip it get the other side with plenty of color you know what I'm saying because it's an important step all right once you've done that you're gonna start to add the oxtails back to the pot along with the chuck roast this is just a combination I chose to use um, you can use chuck roast alone I use the oxtails for the bone. Some people use oxtails and beef shanks. This is the combination I chose to use. Once you do that, you're gonna um, add water to the pot until it pretty much covers the meat. And then here, I'm adding uh, a few different seasonings. I put those on the screen because um, it takes it off from this tip. So there you go. I add a cinnamon stick, about five bay leaves, add some peppercorns. I have a whole onion that I cut in the quarters. Trust me, this stuff doesn't have to be broken down because you're gonna strain it off later on. All right, I got about five garlic cloves that I smashed up. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil in there just for richness. And then that's about um, a couple tablespoons of white vinegar. All right, so get that going in a separate pot. I'm gonna start with my onions and your chili skin. So I'm using guajillo, I think that's um, how you say it and arbo chili skins. You wanna make sure that you get rid of the seeds and both of those, and then um, along with onions and some garlic uh, in here too. Um, and I'm just gonna cover it with water, bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, I have a Ninja Blender, so this is gonna emulsify all this down pretty good. If you don't have a strong blender, then you wanna make sure that once you blend this up, that you don't just go into the pot with your um, meat, you wanna make sure that you push this through a strainer, otherwise you're gonna have chili skins all in your um, your meat, and you don't want that. You see how smooth that is? If you have a strong blender, then you should be okay. But um, you wanna make sure you don't have any skins. Anyway, bring that to a boil for about a couple hours or so. Then what I did was go ahead and strain off all of the other stuff and take the meat out. Once I, and then I'm gonna go right back in the pot with the meat. And I strained off, like I said, the cinnamon sticks, the bay leaves, those big peppercorns, those um, big pieces of onion, I strained all that off. And I'm going right back into the pot for another hour and a half, uncovered. That's to flavor the meat some more, and also to reduce the consomme so that you have a richer stock, a richer liquid when you're done. All right, so that's pretty much how that's looking. Once you're done, you remove the meat out, separate it, and then uh, shred it with a fork. That's the oxtail meat and the um, jet roast it's mixed together. See those are the bones remaining from the oxtail? Okay, so from here, you're gonna take your white corn tortillas, you're gonna dip them in that consummate liquid, the remaining stock from your meat, and you're gonna drop those in a skillet with some like um, oil, something other than olive oil. You need a high smoke uh, temp on there, something like canola oil. And then um, you're just gonna layer those with some cheese and your meat. And just take your time with me. I mean, take your time with these, trust me. I, um, this is my first time. So, you know, it was a little bit trial and error, but by the, end of, by the time I was done, everything was looking pretty good. So, um, 
you know, your tacos will start to come together. Use those Zaka cheese or something with a good melting, um, good melting cheese and they'll look good. All right, so after you're done with everything, you're just gonna plate up your tacos. You're gonna take your bowl of your consomme, or I think I'm saying that right, or your stock, whatever you wanna call it. You're gonna cut up some fresh red onions in there along with some cilantro, and um, then you're gonna just enjoy. Just enjoy by dipping your um, tacos in that sauce, and it's just gonna be one of the best things you ever had. So um, guys, just stay tuned for the mukbang. Thank you for joining us today. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Daniel. We are hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the guidance. CCTV. All right, guys, welcome back to our eating show. Show. All right, guys, so today we're back with another mukbang. You know what that means? That means we're about to get good. Because today we got some birria tacos, birria tacos, whatever you want to call them. These are, um, yeah, I'll put, I put, I'm show you how I made it in front. This is, this is pretty authentic. It's, um, I'm not authentic, but, you know, this is, I stuck to authentic. I took a, two, a few liberties. I did a couple things on my own, you know, something that I wanted to do. But for the most part, this is authentic birria tacos that I made with the delicious consume um, uh, liquid that we're going to dip these bad boys in. If, unless you've been under a rock, like Patrick, <laughs> then you know you've seen these birria tacos and they've gone viral pretty much. I think it's something that's been around forever. Actually, people just, um, just eating the meat with the sauce is a thing too, but I think... Um, They've recently just gone viral in America, so everybody's trying to get their hands on some. Um, I'm not looking around for anybody to make me some. I just, you know me, I'm going to just go ahead and make it. So <laughs> I tried my best, and so um, you guys let me know what you think. Um, before we get in the video, Daniel's going to hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that <laughs> subscribe button. Then hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give this video a thumbs up. Guess guys like the video, show us some love, guys, because we love you so much. Also, guys, if you'd like to get your very own coldest water bottle, make sure you check out the link in the description box below. And if you'd like to get 10% off your order, just use our code CANNONS with one N. That's CANNONS with one N. And that'll get you 10% off your entire order at the coldest water. All right, guys. <laughs> We're going to say grace and we going to... Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless you, let it be nourished into our bodies. It's in your mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so basically, guys... Birria tacos, you have delicious meat that's been cooked for a couple, a few hours. It's beef usually or lamb. Am, am I not mis Somebody um, authentic, uh, uh, somebody Mexican, correct me if I'm wrong. It's beef or lamb. Don't be tearing it behind. You got to show it on the camera. She's sneak tearing the, <laughs> the taco apart. So, like, they're beef or lamb tacos. The, the meat's been slow cooked. And then the sauce that the meat's cooked in is basically, um, is, a uh, is used, you know what I'm saying, for uh, dipping. So I'm gonna show y'all this. It's got Ozaka cheese in it. And I'm dipping. Oh. How's it, baby? Really good. You did a great job. Mm. Wow. The meat is so tender. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the liquid. Consume, consume. After you're done with it, what we're gonna prepare it for the meal. Once it's done, you're done using it to cook your tortillas. We put cilantro, red onion, green onion. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, this is nice and gooey. I got, ooh. Mm. 
I won't sneak tail this time. Mm -hmm. I said I won't sneak tail this time. <laughs> I also use oxtails and um, chet roast. You can use chet roast on, on its own. I use oxtails because they got the bone in them. A lot of people, I, I guess the authentic recipe calls for a really, it calls for, um, if you're using beef, it calls for beef shank and oxtails. Something with a bone so that the, the bone can really add a richness to the stock. And I definitely wanted the bone, so I didn't, but um, the easy, you know what I'm saying, easy peasy version cost, you can just use the chuck roast. But I put four oxtails in here, as you'll see in the recipe video. And um, so you got that meat shredded in here with the chuck roast meat. And it's bomb, man. I can't even tell you. This is going to have to, you know. <laughs> it's about to become something, something real in our house over here. I'm gonna make none of them tacos the mother one. <laughs> yeah. My YouTube. One of our YouTube friends. They just asked me where all this beer your tacos is in everywhere. I said, wait till he see. Right, they just <laughs> asked about it today. They said, everybody with these beer your tacos. And I'm like, he had no idea we was even cooking that today. <laughs> I was like, we about to cook that right now, but I didn't tell. I ain't got much to say. <laughs> this is good. It is. <laughs> This this right here is the mm -hmm. gold. It's, li it's gold liquid. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the cilantro and the onion. Mm -hmm. That's fresh cilantro, fresh onion I put in there, but I'm not even picking up pieces, and you can taste it. Mm -hmm. I just put it in there at the end. Fresh red onion, fresh cilantro. You'll hurt yourself over something like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> I don't know how many I done ate in this corn. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. It's so juicy. I wish I could see. <laughs> that meat. I know I've been wanting them for months, but it's been worth the wait. <laughs> I, don't think, I just want to know what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so Lizzie Lou Food made some. She made um hers from scratch, everything from scratch. If you know Lizzie Lou Food, she has a huge following. If you don't know her, and she makes everything from scratch, from scratch, like. From scratch, like the bread, mm -hmm. the tortillas. She don't. She go from the top to the bottom, from scratch, and she make her food. And she made um some beer. That's like one of the first times I saw them. Then I started looking them up, like researching them. And then I was like, wow. I just want to know what it tastes like. I just want to know what the liquid tastes like. It's good. Now I'm just assume mine is probably the weakest. I'm just gonna call mine the <laughs> weakest. Just to say that, you know what I'm saying, there's probably some good stuff out there, you know what I'm saying, have a taste of. Well, the weakest is good to me. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think I paid five of these. Well, that, it's not good to give you them because they're fried. No. They are fried. You know, lightly, <laughs> lightly fried. They're not deep fried, but they, you put them in oil. <laughs> I'm going to eat this piece of meat back here. Don't you got story time? I do, guys. I got two baby stories. Mm. I'll tell you after I chew this meat. 
Mm. So, my first story is, I did not know what chicken bouillon cubes were when I was younger. So, I always <laughs> used to see them in that little jar. And I'm like, what is them? My mom and my grandma, everybody be using them. So, one day, <clears throat> I was at my grandma's house. And she was putting them in the crock pot or some kind of pot or something. She had walked off and left them open. Because I knew that if it was closed and I tried to open it and see what it was, she was going to come stomp around the corner. So... She was gone, and I said, I'm going to figure these things out, because I eat sugar cubes. This is a cube. I'm fitting to try it. Man, I took that cube out of there and put it in my mouth, mm -mm. and I want it to pass out. And then she going to come stomp around the corner. <laughs> so I got to sit over here and act like I'm not in agony from this salt cube I done ate. <laughs> because if she figured out I done ate a bouillon cube, and my grandma is pretty frugal. If she figured out I done wasted one of her bouillon cubes when I could have just asked the question, oh, she was going to be hot. More of the story is don't eat one. I told the hell. My pressure probably would end this the ceiling after that. I told you, I told her, I guess we were two different types of fat kids because I knew. I don't think it was fat. I think I was just curious, probably. Oh, we were two different types of children <laughs> because. I knew they they intrigued me because they looked like candy wrapped up. But I knew that the fact that they were sitting out in this little jar just so easily accessible and nobody ever made a fuss of them. I knew someone right about them. And so <laughs> I never touched them. I knew someone right about them. I it looked was the them. wrapper. It was gold. I know, yeah. It, it looks was... it looks very intriguing. I looked at it several times, but I, I knew I wasn't about to <laughs> Something told me it was like this. No. I was suffering. I got to sit there. She over here talking about, Daniel, you all right? I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying, uh, girl. And I, I ain't tell her. I ain't tell her. Because she figured out I ate that bouillon cube. She... You put too much bouillon in it. <laughs> you put too many in your pot. You in trouble. I wanted to take that thing I out and throw it. I know that thing probably made you seize up. Mm -hmm. God almighty. I what? wanted to take it out and throw it across the room. <laughs> but I couldn't. But I just held it into my mouth. Crazy. I'm trying to tell you, if she the saw me, told you she is few, uh, frugal. I'll AJ. Spit that bit right out. AJ has met her before. AJ knows how she is. She do not cut her air on when she need to. She don't cut the heat on. She's <laughs> very frugal. So if she the saw me spit that bouillon cube out, I would go ahead and hear about that. I just right out of here. <laughs> yeah, I was being messy. It's nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for <laughs> 2,000 folks. Can I have some water? <laughs> Can tired. I have some water? What's so bad? Mm -mm. And my um, other story is, I was a little older, but I was in church, and I like to take pictures of people in church. I just, you know, I still do it. It's not a good thing, but I do it. And so, I had this little phone. I didn't know how to use it. It was new. And I could have sworn I turned that flash off. I put that phone up in the air trying to take a picture of somebody in church. And that flash went off. That was just like the worst <laughs> flash ever. I said, oh my God. And whoever was up there preaching, talking about, we were built this lightning right now. I said, oh my God, my cousin over there laughed like she is dying. <laughs> like, and it's like nobody knows that I tried to take a picture. It probably was of the pastor, I'm sure, is what I was trying to do because I didn't even straight care. Like, I held the, the phone up like this, but I am fitting to get this man good when I take this picture. And that stinky flash going to go off. You rebuke the lightning. You the lightning. Right, it was me. <laughs> trying to take a picture of you, mister. <laughs> I would try to take a picture screen, of you. Boy, not the light. I would have done that day yell. Oh, my God. That day yell. And if my mom had <laughs> knew that I did that, she would have been upset. Yes. <laughs> like she would not have been happy about me doing that. She wouldn't have been. You want to know a valuable lesson I learned in church one time? 
is that you are supposed to take anything somebody gives you, whether you want it or not. Yeah. And so, That's stupid, but I know. Don't, don't get me started. <laughs> anyway, um, this lady was like, dang, I have a purse for you. Um, I'm going to bring it Sunday for you. So I'm over here turned up, kind of like, ooh, purse, ooh, purse. Because this lady wears nice purses and they was, you know, they was designer. And I'm a teenager. I'm like, ooh, yes. And so she brings this purse. Oh, it was the ugliest purse I ever seen in my life. It was ugly. <laughs> and she was like, here's the purse. Do you still want it? And do y'all know what I said? No, I don't want it. <laughs> and then this woman going to go back and tell my mama. That you don't want it. That I don't want it. So then we got to have a whole conversation with me standing there as to why I don't want it. And I was like, if you want to go there, it's ugly. <laughs> okay? It is ugly. And I got a beating. So the lesson I learned is that no matter how ugly something is or how much you don't want it and how much you'll probably throw it in the trash when you get home, just take it. Just That's take crazy. it and be grateful. Because if crazy. not, you'll get a beat down why in did, church. Why did you even ask me if I wanted it? What do you mean, like, before like, I saw she didn't it? Say she asked if you wanted it? Yeah, she asked me if I still wanted it when she showed me. And I would have said... And, and I said no. You asked for If I can't... <laughs> I told her no. And I got a whooping. You want to suck on the No. BT. I got a whooping. <laughs> yep. For saying no. Well, I got in trouble for for breathing wrong. <sighs> that was my, you there know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> breathing wrong and not washing them dishes. What? Wow. <laughs> Wash them dishes. Mm. I don't know, man. I used to, yeah. All right. That dishes was like the bane of my existence. How you get in trouble? Okay. You better have those dishes washed. I don't mean to talk about my mama, but I mean to talk about it. I got issues. So I'm a vent. If you say, you better have those dishes. This is middle school. I'm having middle school flashbacks. If you say, you better have those dishes washed by the time I get home. And you get home and the dishes washed. You just see suds in the sink. Why is there? Why is it still a problem? You had all day to see. I know you just watched this because I still see suds in the sink. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you said by the time you got home, <laughs> she said you wait that all right day. Before. You wait all day to wash these dishes, and you been here all day not doing nothing, just sitting here, sitting here stinking. <laughs> not doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. And then you're going to wait till the last minute till I pull up to wash some dishes. You said before you got home. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Because <laughs> you're stinking. That's crazy. Just because you see suds in the sink. Did you say before you got home or not? He ain't answer. Was that you was stinking? Traumatic. That's right. Was you sitting there all you day know. stinking? Yeah, he was. I wasn't stinking. <laughs> you know, kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like you remember. <laughs> I was sitting up that dirty. Honey. Let me tell you something. I don't play them games with my mama, honey. You better take a bath. Oh, my daddy. My daddy is worse than my mom. Um, he just does not think. Which I mean, you shouldn't be just sitting around. But sometimes my little sister used to when she was younger. On a Saturday, she wait all day and take a bath at like three o'clock. And sometimes my dad would come home early and he'd be like, I'm not going to say her name, blah, blah, blah. You still in here dirty. <laughs> and he just go back and she just sitting there just blank stare because she's like, I'm still not getting up another hour to go take this bath because right, where am know. I going? What do you know? But yeah. most of the time I used to get them out of the way. This was so delicious. It was. Listen, listen y'all. If you can make this, make this. If you want, I'm going to post a recipe. I'm going to post a video before. If you can make it, make it. it I put, really you're going to see I kind of put like a little extra ingredients. I can, if you need me to simplify it, 
like what I would do if I wanted to simplify it so you don't have it wasn't that many ingredients if you cook most of the stuff you got in your cabinet it's just that like if you don't like I put a whole cinnamon stick in there you can substitute it for actual cinnamon like you don't got to do that like um but like stuff like that like I put whole peppercorns in there stuff like that you can um which I fished out later you'll see in the video if you um if you watch it I mean if you watch the, um, the portion but it's really really good mm -hmm. And I ain't you even did lying. a good job, Thank baby. you so much. Yo, or, it, or if you don't want to make it, you know what I'm saying? See if there's someone in your area that sells those type of um, these uh, type of tacos because they're really good. Now, like I said, if you're on this channel and um, you are authentic Mexican, and um, like I said, I might have did something that you wouldn't agree with. Don't crucify me. Don't you know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just cooking things for my household and for my, my subscribers, you know, the way I would, you know. I don't mind suggestions, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you want to make a suggestion, just don't be like, that's absolutely, we would never do that. You know, just you make a suggestion and we'll be good with it. And I do have a question, though, for people who buy, like, uh, corn tortillas a lot, like um, fresh corn tortillas. Do you buy La Benderita? Because that's the brand I bought today, and I know for a fact when we bought mission or missing before mm -hmm. they were white corn we used those to make um chips and they were not these were falling apart out of the bag like like before i would go to dip it into the consomme before i fry it they were just falling to pieces and i'm just like is that this brand or do i just got a bad batch or what because those it was just like it's making me pretty mad just to be honest <laughs> <laughs> but um <laughs> you won't like me when i'm mad <laughs> you won't like me uh -uh. Like <laughs> but um yeah man thank y'all so much for watching this video today y'all got a little drip <laughs> little shirt y'all know the deal <laughs> so um we want to appreciate I mean, we appreciate y'all for um stopping in hey if y'all ain't checked out my AC, I'm, I'm AC my ASMR video I know that's not everybody's bag but go <laughs> check it out you know it's short you know what I'm saying show me some love on that video me and Danielle think about incorporating more ASMR videos on the channel it wouldn't be more than one a week of us or uh, one from one of us is what i'm saying it wouldn't be more than one a week because we know that it's not an asmr channel we know you, you just subscribe to hear us run our mouth a little bit so um yeah so just let me know go check out the video let me know what you think all right i'm done with my mouth guys thank you so much for joining us today um you know what i'm saying if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video drop a comment down below let us know what you think guys remember to share this video share this out with your friends family loved ones anyone everyone let them know what we got going on over here because sharing is caring so care about us care about us you know what i'm saying do it so Annie, do you have anything else for our lovely i do not i don't